Spring is here, and that means grilling season. Mike's Buy Low in Reynoldsville has all your grilling needs covered with chicken, steak, pork chops, and more. You can check out all of Mike's Buy Low's weekly specials from the comfort of your home at mikesbylow.com, where you will also find online coupons and recipes. Visit Mike's Buy Low on South 5th Street in Reynoldsville today. Mike's Buy Low's Foods, your friendly hometown supermarket. Creating champions is what we do at the garage in Shippenville. The garage is Clarion County's premier indoor hitting and pitching facility offering one-on-one -on -one instruction to athletes of all ages. Join one of our group sessions now by contacting the garage at 814-918-2123. And did you know the garage is more than just about baseball and softball? We now have the True Golf Simulator where you can hone your game all year round. Like the garage on Facebook today. When we opened Your Daily Local LLC, the parent company of the YDL Sports Network, we were looking for an insurance company we knew and could trust. Acrisure and Dubois gave us all of that and more. And that's why Acrisure and Dubois is the official insurance provider of the YDL Sports Network. We know that the folks at Acrisure have our backs and we know they support high school athletes and athletics. Find out more at acrisure.com backslash midatlantic or call them today at 814-371-5270. Acrisure and Dubois is the official insurance provider of your daily local LLC. A good garbage company is like a good utility player. You don't realize you need one until you don't have one. For great dependable garbage service in Clarion County, no one does it better than Larson's Garbage Service. Locally owned and active in the community for over 50 years, Larson's offers flat rates that are easy to understand with no hidden fees and no contracts. Find out more at larsonsgarbageservice.com. Howdy, rodeo fans! The 64th Annual North Washington Rodeo is scheduled for August 13th through the 17th. Come see your favorite events, including bronc riding, barrel racing, bull riding, and more. Gates open at 6 p.m. The show starts at 8. Come early and eat dinner in the social hall between 4 and 7. Nightly specials will be offered. Can't make dinner? No problem. There'll be lots of concession options available during the show. Grounds are located at 2225 Onata Valley Road in Petrolia, PA. For more information, visit NorthWashingtonVFD.com backslash radio. The show goes on, rain or shine. With locations in Shippenville and Tynesta, Tynesta Builder Supply is a full-service home improvement center specializing in everything you need to build or remodel your home. From power tools and accessories to paint and sundries, and general hardware merchandise, Tynesta Builders has everything you need to get your project done quickly. Find out more at tynestabuilders.us and like them on Facebook. In both baseball and softball, as in bowling, there's nothing better than a perfect strike. And Dubois Lane's on the B-Line, and Dubois has been serving up a striking good time for nearly 70 years, and is here for all your bowling needs. At Dubois Lane's, we have open bowling, leagues, birthday parties, and other special events, along with a great pro shop. Call today for open bowling hours or to book your next event, 814-371-0344. Check us out online at DuboisLanes.com. Dubois Lane's is hoping for a striking year for the DCC Cardinals. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Rich Coons Field in Punxsutawney, getting ready for this high school baseball matchup between two of the premier teams, not only in District 9, but really in the state of Pennsylvania, Dubois Central Catholic, Punxsutawney here today. Punxsutawney, a state semifinalist in 3A a year ago, Dubois Central Catholic made it to the district or to the PIAA Class 1A championship game last year falling to Clarion a year after winning the state title. Both of these teams have state championships. Punxsutawney's coming in 2007, led by Devin Mezzarocco. Should be a, a great one here today. Uh, weather overcast right now, hoping the rain holds off. Uh, could say that about the entire month of April in northwestern Pennsylvania this year, hoping that the rain holds off. But uh, right now, it looks like we're ready to go for some baseball, and it'll be a pretty good pitching matchup, at least to start out the day, as Nevin Day going for Punxsutawney against Carter Himes for Dubois Central Catholic, a pair of sophomores who, uh, in their own rights, had great freshman seasons. We'll take a look at both of those when we get back. We're going to thank some more of our sponsors here. You're watching High School Baseball on the YDL Sports Network.
All-American HQ custom apparel and engraving can do almost anything on almost everything. We're your one-stop shop for your custom needs. All-American HQ custom apparel and engraving. We can do almost anything on almost everything. Are you hungry? Of course you're hungry. And Daddy's on Main Street in Clarion is ready to tackle that hunger for you. Serving amazing food since 2008, Daddy's has been Clarion's go-to stop whenever hunger strikes. Whether it's a good old-fashioned hot dog or hamburger, a salad, or something from their rotating chef's menu. Yes, I said rotating chef's menu. Daddy has you covered. You can order ahead by calling 814-223-4687 or come on in and dine in. Have a big event you are catering? Daddy's can do that too. Like Daddy's on Facebook at Daddy's Clarion and stop in today. You won't be disappointed. With convenient locations in Dubois, Ridgeway, St. Mary's, and Warren, you don't have to travel far to get your game-winning smile with Cole Orthodontic Associates. The orthodontists of Cole Orthodontic Associates have been crafting beautiful, healthy smiles in north-central Pennsylvania since 1960. Born and raised in the area, the doctors and staff at Cole Orthodontic Associates are committed to the people of this region. Visit colesmiles.net to schedule an appointment or consultation at the location nearest you today. Allegheny Electric Service of St. Mary's has been providing industrial and commercial electrical solutions for over 35 years. They offer complete design, build, installation, and maintenance of automated systems for a variety of industries. Allegheny Electric designs and installs wiring and lighting for any size project, big or small. And when you find yourself in a jam, they'll get your machine or facility back up and running in no time. Call Allegheny Electric Service at 814-781-1940 or visit alleghenyelectric.com. What's the recipe for surprising the kids, treating yourself, and ditching dish duty? You're looking at it. Order your Pizza Hut faves like original pan, original stuffed crust, and more at PizzaHut.com. No one out pizzas the hut. When it's your special day, we know you want everything to be just perfect. That's why at the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, we spared no expense in creating our new indoor-outdoor wood framed event center with waterfalls, gorgeous views of the Allegheny River, a fire pin, and plenty of parking. The Allegheny Grill in Foxburg will take care of everything from catering to bartending, so all you have to do is bring the fun. We do it all for your wedding, anniversary party, corporate event, and so much more. One look at our new facility and we know you'll fall in love. And remember, the view is always free at the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. Tap and Pay Plus is fundraising for the 21st century. Nothing to sell, nothing to hand out, nothing to do other than shop like you normally do. Have everybody that you know download the Tap and Pay Plus fundraising app and use it to pay at any of our 300 plus national brand partners. Then watch the money roll in. Learn more at tapandpayplus.com. Golfing at one of the prettiest golf courses around is what you get when you play around at Hunter Station Golf Club just outside of Tanesta. Located in the Allegheny Mountains with a spectacular view of the Allegheny River, Hunter Station offers something for everyone. The rolling hills of the front nine, coupled with a back nine situated along the banks of the Allegheny River, create some of the best views in all of northwestern PA. And when you're done with your round, enjoy a delicious meal or a cold drink in our restaurant and bar. Looking for a place to stay? Hunter Station has you covered there too with play and stay packages. Find out more at HunterStation.com. Spring is here and that means grilling season. Mike's Bilo in Reynoldsville has all your grilling needs covered with chicken, steak, pork chops, and more. You can check out all of Mike's Bilo's weekly specials from the comfort of your home at mikesbilo.com where you will also find online coupons and recipes. Visit Mike's Bilo on South 5th Street in Reynoldsville today. Mike's Bilo's Foods, your friendly hometown supermarket. Claims happen. Fortunately, you have Gerg Insurance and Financial in your quarter. Your family is our family, and we really mean that. So we invite you to get in touch with us and find out for yourself. Gerg Insurance and Financial. Offices in Ridgeway, Warren, and St. Mary's. Call 814-781-1020 for an appointment or a quote today. Gerg Insurance and Financial. Wants to understand you to help protect you. Gerg Insurance. Caring for you and the things you care for. Back here at Punxsutawney, Nevin Day taking his warm-up tosses right now for the Chucks. Day comes in with a record of 2-0, 16 innings pitched, 32 strikeouts, just five walks, has given up 13 hits and a 0.44 earned run average. 
He'll be facing the following lineup. Carter Himes leads off for DCC. He's doing the pitching. Braden Fox batting second and at first base. Aiden Snowberger is batting third and in center field. Blake Pasarczyk hitting cleanup and at shortstop. Andrew Green batting fifth and at second base. Braden Zatzik batting sixth and at third base. Trenton Miller batting seventh and at second and at catching. Johnny Varischetti is batting eighth and in left field. And Xavier Schwentner is batting ninth and playing in right field. So it's Himes, Fox, Snowberger, Pasarczyk, Green, Zatzik, Miller, Varischetti, and Schwentner for DCC. Defense behind Day has Stallman at first, Hetricks at second, Coy Martino, the shortstop, Landon Temchula is over at third, Brody Stoffer is in left, Donnie Bender is in center, Nathan Kendrick is in right, Cooper Holman doing the catching for Nevin Day. So that's Stallman, Hetrick, Martino, Temchula, first to third, Stoffer, Bender, Kendrick, left to right, Holman doing the catching for Day. So as Day prepares his Final warm-ups here. Punxsutawney getting ready to face DCC here. DCC checking in with a record of four wins and two losses. And Punxsutawney comes in at six and one. So leading off here is Carter Himes for DCC. We'll get a scoreboard set up for you here momentarily. First pitch from Day, outside ball one. So one ball, no strikes here on Himes leading off for the Cardinals. Next pitch on the outside corner, it's one ball and one strike. That's in there for a called strike, and it's one and two. Next pitch, that's a swing and a miss. They're going to say he's out, so strikeout of Carter Himes is the first out here in the DCC first. That'll bring up Braden Fox. First pitch to Fox, fouled off at the plate, strike one. Next pitch is in there called strike two. No balls and two strikes on the left-handed hitting Fox, just a junior. Feels like he's been around for 10 years. It's a little high by day. One ball and two strikes. Wind in the one-two. Swing and a miss. So day out to a great start. Strike out the first two Cardinals he's faced. It'll bring up Aiden Snowberger, another junior left-handed hitting Snowberger. They winds and delivers. Snowberger shows bunt, takes outside, ball one. That one is fouled, and it's going to get out of play. I do believe it does over beyond the camera view here. And it's one ball and one strike on Snowberger. Mm -hmm. 
wind into one one. Shows bunt, fouls it off, and now it's one ball and two strikes on Snowy. One and two on Snowburger. Day struck out the first two he's faced here in the top of the first inning. Day has a sign from Hallman. Winds and delivers the one two. That's fouled out of play. Remains one ball and two strikes. They ready again. One, two outside, and it's two balls and two strikes. So good at bat here by Snowberger, making day work after those first two strikeouts. Wind in the 2-2, two -two. way inside as he spins out of the way, does Snowberger, and it's now full, three balls and two strikes. Three-two pitch, swing and a miss, and Day strikes out the side in the first, all swinging, four DCC, no runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on base at the end of a half an inning. Here in Punxsutawney, it's Du Bois nothing. Punxsutawney coming to bat. You're watching high school baseball on the YDL Sports Network. Creating champions is what we do at the garage in Shippenville. The garage is Clarion County's premier indoor hitting and pitching facility offering one-on-one -on -one instruction to athletes of all ages. Join one of our group sessions now by contacting the garage at 814-918-2123. And did you know the garage is more than just about baseball and softball? We now have the True Golf Simulator where you can hone your game all year round. Like the garage on Facebook today. When it's your special day, we know you want everything to be just perfect. That's why at the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, we spared no expense in creating our new indoor-outdoor wood frame event center with waterfalls, gorgeous views of the Allegheny River, a fire pin, and plenty of parking. The Allegheny Grill in Foxburg will take care of everything from catering to bartending, so all you have to do is bring the fun. We do it all for your wedding, anniversary party, corporate event, and so much more. One look at our new facility, and we know you'll fall in love. And remember, the view is always free at the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. Tap and Pay Plus is fundraising for the 21st century. Nothing to sell, nothing to hand out, nothing to do other than shop like you normally do. Have everybody that you know download the Tap and Pay Plus fundraising app and use it to pay at any of our 300 plus national brand partners. Then watch the money roll in. Learn more at tapandpayplus.com. Back here is Carter Himes takes his warm up tosses. Himes on the season, no record. In 12 and a third innings, he has struck out 19, walked nine, given up nine hits, a 1.70 earned run average, just like Day, also a sophomore. So he'll face the following lineup. Maddox Hetrick, Maddox Hetrick leading off and playing second base. Cooper Hallman batting second and doing the catching. Nevin Day batting third, doing pitching. Coy Martino in cleanup at shortstop. Parker Stallman batting fifth and at first base. Brody Stauffer batting sixth and in left field. Landon Temchula bats seventh and at third base. Cal, uh, Nate Kendrick is in right field in batting eighth. And Donnie Bender bats ninth and in center field. So it's Hetrick, Holman, Day, Martino, Stallman, Stauffer, Temchula, Kendrick, and Bender is taking ball one is Maddox Hetrick. Next pitch is also up high, ball two, and it's two balls and no strikes on Hetrick. That's in there for a called strike, and it's two and one. Hetrick coming off of a strong football season for the Chucks this past year. Swing and a miss, strike two, and it's two balls and two strikes. That misses and the count goes full, three and two. Wind in the three, two. That ball is popped up 
Second baseman Green says he has it, and he does in front of the right fielder Schwentner. And there's one away here in the Punxsutawney first inning. So you've met Green at second and Schwentner in right. It's Braden Fox at first. Blake Pasarchik is at shortstop. Zatzik is at third. Veraschetti's in left. Snowburger's in center. Miller doing the catching for Heim. So it's Fox, Green, Pasarchik, Zatzik first to third. Veraschetti, Snowburger, and Schwentner left to right. Miller doing the catching for Himes. As Cooper Hallman takes strike one. Miller had to come out of catching the last game a week ago. That ball is lifted out into right field in front of Schwentner. It's a base hit for Cooper Holman in the game's first hit of the game to the Chucks of Punxsutawney. Anyhow, doubleheader with Brookville on Saturday forced uh, Miller to come out as we're going to get a courtesy runner here for the Chucks. Silverstein in to run for Hallman. Lucas Silverstein. So Silverstein will take his lead off of first as Nevin Day comes in looking to help himself out here early on. There's a called strike on the outside corner. They burst onto the scene a year ago both with his pitching and his hitting, helping the Chucks to the PIAA 3A semifinals. That ball is popped up. Left fielder Veraschetti, center fielder coming in is Snowburger. He's going to make the catch. Is looking through the fencing there. I kind of lost the ball in the gray sky. It ended up in center, and making the catch there is the center fielder Snowburger, and there's two away, and Coy Martino coming to the plate. Expectations high once again for Punxsutawney this year, especially with Day and this guy, Coy Martino, leading the pitching staff. They feel like they've got the pitching to make another deep run in the state playoffs, as does Dubois Central Catholic. It's a ball just missing. Punxsutawney's only lost to defending 1A state champion Clarion, which took two out of three from DCC a year ago. Those teams are scheduled to meet at PNC Park in Pittsburgh next Saturday. We're hoping to be there to bring all the live action from uh, PNC Park. Game time. We'll have DCC hopefully tomorrow out at State College uh, in Medler Field at Lebrano Park as the Cardinals play in a tournament hosted by the State College Spikes, the State the Spikes Hardball Classic. Is there's a strike? They'll have Altoona at noon, and then they'll either play a 3 o'clock consolation game or a 6 o'clock championship game against the defending state champion. It'll either be Bald Eagle area or Belfont. Bald Eagle won the 3A title. As that ball is hit out to right field, Schwentner looks like he's got a beat on it. He does, and the inning comes to a close for Punxsutawney in the first. No runs, a hit, no errors, one left on base. We head to the second inning here in Punxsutawney, no score between the Chucks and DCC. Allegheny Electric Service of St. Mary's has been providing industrial and commercial electrical solutions for over 35 years. They offer complete design, build, installation, and maintenance of automated systems for a variety of industries. Allegheny Electric designs and installs wiring and lighting for any size project, big or small. And when you find yourself in a jam, they'll get your machine or facility back up and running in no time. Call Allegheny Electric Service at 814-781-1940 or visit AlleghenyElectric.com. Howdy, Rodeo fans! The 64th Annual North Washington Rodeo is scheduled for August 13th through the 17th. Come see your favorite events, including bronc riding, barrel racing, bull riding, and more. Gates open at 6 p.m. The show starts at 8. Come early and eat dinner in the social hall between 4 and 7. Nightly specials will be offered. Can't make dinner? No problem. There'll be lots of concession options available during the show. Grounds are located at 2225 Onata Valley Road in Petrolia, PA. For more information, visit NorthWashingtonVFD.com backslash radio. The show goes on, rain or shine. All American HQ Custom Apparel and Engraving can do almost anything on almost everything. We're your one-stop shop for your custom needs. All American HQ Custom Apparel and Engraving. We can do almost anything on almost everything. Back here at 
Coons Field in Punxsutawney as DCC that's here for the second inning of a scoreless game. It'll be Pasarchik, Green, and Zatzik against Nevin Day. Day struck out the side in the first inning. Steps off. Now set, and there's a line drive knocked down by Tim Chula. His throw across the diamond is just in time as the base umpire looked like he wanted to give the safe call, then decided, no, nah, he was out, and it's one away. Nice play there by Tim Chula, sticking with the hard hit ball by Pasarchek and throwing out Blake, the speedy Blake at first. And there's one away here for Andrew Green. First pitch to green up high, ball one. That misses, and it's now 2-0 and oh on green. One and a 2-0. -oh. Misses just outside, and it's now 3-0 and on green. That's in there for a called strike. Green taken all the way, and it's three balls and one strike. Ball was fouled off, and now the count goes full with three balls and two strikes. Now we're going to get a time called. Just missed. And Green, the first base runner for DCC, drawing the walk. It's a tough take there by Andrew Green. Bring up Braden Zatzik. So we'll see how Day operates with a runner on. Throw over, getting back in there is green. Wind in the pitch, swing and a miss by Zatzik. No balls in one strike. Not that we mind Dubois, but it's nice to be someplace other than uh, one of the fields in Dubois playing a baseball game. Zatzik shows bunt, takes up high, ball one. couple games at Showers Field involving actual KSAC teams. Um, North Clarion and Cranberry earlier in the year, and then CL and North Clarion did a couple of softball games over at Heindel Field. DCC, ECC, Andy Close did. I did a Game between DCC and Brockway. Here's a bunt. And that ball is down, and Stallman's going to walk up and tag the runner. And on the sacrifice bunt, Andrew Green goes to second. He'll be there for Trent Miller, the catcher. Was saying in the second game of the doubleheader against Brookville the other day, Miller came up with a slight injury in the hamstring, had to come out, and uh, catching got a little dicey for DCC after that. So I know Adam Fox is glad to have Miller back behind the dish, but also knows he's got to work on that backup catching position a little bit. 
First pitch to Miller. Ball is hit up in the air. Left fielder Stoffer, center fielder Bender, and Donnie Bender calls for it and makes the catch to end the inning. Four DCC in the second. No runs, no hits, no errors. There was a walk and one left on base. At the end of two and a half, it is Dubois Central Catholic nothing and Punxsutawney nothing. You're watching High School Baseball on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. With convenient locations in Dubois, Ridgeway, St. Mary's, and Warren, you don't have to travel far to get your game-winning smile with Cole Orthodontic Associates. The orthodontists of Cole Orthodontic Associates have been crafting beautiful, healthy smiles in north-central Pennsylvania since 1960. Born and raised in the area, the doctors and staff at Cole Orthodontic Associates are committed to the people of this region. Visit colesmiles.net to schedule an appointment or consultation at the location nearest you today. recipe for surprising the kids, treating yourself, and ditching dish duty? You're looking at it. Order your Pizza Hut faves like original pan, original stuffed crust, and more at PizzaHut.com. No one out pizzas the hut. Spring is here, and that means grilling season. Mike's Bilo in Reynoldsville has all your grilling needs covered with chicken, steak, pork chops, and more. You can check out all of Mike's Bilo's weekly specials from the comfort of your home at mikesbilo.com, where you will also find online coupons and recipes. Visit Mike's Bilo on South 5th Street in Reynoldsville today. Mike's Bilo's Foods, your friendly hometown supermarket. Back here as we go to the bottom of the second inning, it'll be Stallman, Stoffer, and Temchula for Punxsutawney against Carter Himes. Expect DCC to use an array of pitchers today, maybe not use anybody past 25 pitches with the two games tomorrow, save some of those arms, knowing that those games tomorrow are going to be pretty tough as well. So I think it's going to be a committee situation for the Cardinals today. Ball one here to Stallman takes a strike now, the left-handed hitting first baseman. That's down low, and it's now two balls and one strike. That's in there for a called strike, and it's now two and two. That ball is going to take a bounce, and it's going to end up as a base hit as he ball hit off of uh, the pitcher, Himes, is, uh, looks like it was his right shoe. He looks to be okay, but it is going to be a leadoff single for Stallman. And Brody Stoffer comes to the plate. And uh, now we're having a conversation. Mike Dickey had came down the line. Going to get a pinch runner here for Stoffer. It's going to be, I'm sorry, for Stallman. It's going to be, looks like Porter Wood will pinch run for Stallman. This is a pinch run, not a courtesy. So Porter Wood pinch running here in the bottom of the second. First pitch to Stoffer in there for a called strike. Showing 
bunt here, pulls back, ball one. So the catcher, Trent Miller, was forced into action a little earlier than I think DCC would have liked last year when Ben Greitzer went down with an injury, but caught the Cardinals all the way into the state title game. And that considered vital. Here's Green. Green's going to flip to the shortstop for one, on to first, not in time, as able to beat the wrap on the throw by Pasarczyk with Stoffer. But DCC does get the first out. One away here in the first, and that's going to be it for Himes as he does reach the 25 pitch mark. Did think that was going to happen, and uh, Brayden Fox is going to come in. It looks like it's going to be Fox to throw, and now Andrew Green is going to go over to play first base, and uh, Himes is going to go out to play short, and Pasarczyk is going to move over and play second base. So as the lefty Fox takes his warm-up tosses here, we'll step away. You're watching High School Baseball on the YDL Sports Network. In both baseball and softball, as in bowling, there's nothing better than a perfect strike. And Dubois Lane's on the B-line, and Dubois has been serving up a striking good time for nearly 70 years, and is here for all your bowling needs. At Dubois Lane's, we have open bowling, leagues, birthday parties, and other special events, along with a great pro shop. Call today for open bowling hours or to book your next event, 814-371-0344. Check us out online at DuboisLanes.com. Dubois Lane's is hoping for a striking year for the DCC Cardinals. With locations in Shippenville and Tynesta, Tynesta Builder Supply is a full-service home improvement center specializing in everything you need to build or remodel your home. From power tools and accessories to paint and sundries, and general hardware merchandise, Tynesta Builders has everything you need to get your project done quickly. Find out more at tynestabuilders.us and like them on Facebook. So Braden Fox is the new pitcher for the Cardinals. Fox sporting a 0 0.95 earned run average, 2-0 and o on the season. In seven and a third innings, he's given up five hits, five walks, and struck out five. So again, DCC coming in with the plan of getting their pitchers to about 25 pitches. to make them still eligible to pitch tomorrow if they get the games in in State College, which again will be right here on the YDL Sports Network. As Tamchula steps to the plate, takes strike one from Fox. Lefty against lefty here. Throw over back easily is Stoffer. The pitch bunted, but it gets away from Miller. And taking second is Stoffer. That misses. I'm going to charge a pass ball there to Miller, and I do think that's the correct call, actually. So Fox ready with the one, two, and now calling time is Tim Chul. And Himes did go to 22 pitches, which is why they took him out when they took him out. Fox the lefty comes to the set. 
Turns, throws to second, diving back in safely, though, is Stoffer. That way, way outside. Nice pick there by Miller. So it's two balls and two strikes. Wine into 2-2. Two, two. That misses, and it's now 3-2. and two. And Again, control has been a little bit of an issue early on for Braden Fox. Many walks as strikeouts. Again, it's just five and five, though. But five walks and seven and change innings pitch, something I know the young lefty would like to rectify here. So here's the three, two. That ball is hit out towards left, coming in and playing it on a bounce is Veraschetti. Runner heading to third. Veraschetti's throw is a weak one and off the line. And now the runner's going to take second on the throw. So disaster there for DCC. What looked like it could have been an out. Turns into a single for Temchula, who goes to second on the throw to third. Stoffer will hold there at third, and it's second and third, and just one out for the Chucks. And Nate Kendrick at the plate. So, Chancellor of Punxsutawney to break through here. Corners will play in for DCC as it's ball one to Kendrick. So it looked like Veraschetti had a chance to catch that ball. Then when he didn't, it looked like he had a real shot at the runner at third who thought he was going to catch the ball, and it standed in second base. But the throw was off the line, and with the offline throw, that allowed the runner to go to second. Now throw down to second. He's got him. Fox just picked off Temchula at second base. That's a big play there for DCC and Braden Fox as he turned and whirled to the shortstop times, and they pick off. Temchula at second base. Can't have that happen if you're Punxsutawney getting the back runner picked off there, but it happens sometimes, and there's a strike, and it's one ball and one strike. So now one and one, and Fox with a chance to get out of this jam. Winding the pitch. Fouled straight back, and it's one ball and two strikes. So one and two on Kendrick. Fox comes set. That misses. And it's two balls and two strikes on Kendrick. Winding the pitch. That ball is fouled out of play over on the first base side. Andrew Green now playing first base. Gave it a courtesy look, but that's all it was. Fouled it off in the direction of Joe's drive-in. Had lunch at Joe's drive-in prior to the game. Must stop place anytime you come to the ball fields here. Here's a ground ball to the shortstop, Himes. He's got it. His throw across the diamond in time. And Fox wiggles out of the second and third. One-out jam thanks to the pickoff of Temchula at second. And the second inning is over for Punxsutawney. No runs, a pair of hits. There was no errors and one left on base. At the end of two full innings here in Punxsutawney, no score between Dubois Central Catholic and Punxsutawney. You're watching High School Baseball on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. When we opened your daily local LLC, the parent company of the YDL Sports Network, we were looking for an insurance company we knew and could trust. Acrisure and Dubois gave us all of that and more. And that's why Acrisure and Dubois is the official insurance provider of the YDL Sports Network. We know that the folks at Acrisure have our backs, and we know they support high school athletes and athletics. Find out more at acrisure.com backslash midatlantic, or call them today at 814 814- 371-5270. Acrisure and Dubois is the official insurance provider of your daily local LLC. A good garbage company is like a good utility player. You don't realize you need one until you don't have one. For great dependable garbage service in Claring County, no one does it better than Larson's Garbage Service. Locally owned and active in the community for over 50 years, Larson's offers flat rates that are easy to understand with no hidden fees and no contracts. Find out more at larsonsgarbageservice.com. 
here in the third inning, it'll be Beresketti, Schwentner, and Himes. Eight, nine, and one for DCC against Nevin Day, who's needed just 26 pitches to get through the first two innings. Day's first pitch in there for a called strike. They struck out the side in the first inning, walked a batter in the second. There's a swing and a miss, strike two on Johnny Varischetti. That ball is popped up. Stallman, the first baseman, gives it a look, but it's just out of play. Maine's no balls and two strikes here on Beresketti. There's a called strike three. Strikeout number four for Nevin Day. So the book closes on Himes. He goes one and a third, gave up two hits. No runs, didn't walk anybody, didn't strike out anybody. Pitch goes in there for ball one. Adam Fox talking to him last night was pretty happy with the play of a couple of his younger guys, including Xavier Schwentner. He takes a strike, one ball and one strike. Schwentner and Zatzik, he mentioned, being two young guys that he's been pretty pleased with their development so far this year. There's a line drive off the glove of Day. He's going to recover, and he's going to flip to Stallman at first, and there's two away. So Schwendner hit it hard, but Day is able to get a glove on it and then track it down and flip it over to his first baseman, and there's two away here in the DCC third. Brings up Carter Himes. Himes a strikeout victim swinging in the first inning. First pitch in there for a called strike. That misses, and it's one ball and one strike on Himes. Wind in the 1 1. On the outside corner, strike two, one ball and two strikes. One and two, reaching for it and fouling it off as Himes. That ball is lifted foul out of play down the first base side. They set, delivers the one two outside, and it's two balls and two strikes. Two two stays high and it's three balls and two strikes now on Carter Himes. A 
Winding the payoff pitch. Fouled away. So nice at bat here by Himes. Remains three balls and two strikes. Wind in the payoff. He looks at strike three. Nevin Day comes up with strikeout number five. Second time, Carter Himes has gone down. In the third for DCC, no runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on base. We head to the bottom of inning number three. Still scoreless here in Punxsutawney. Are you hungry? Of course you're hungry. And Daddy's on Main Street in Clarion is ready to tackle that hunger for you. Serving amazing food since 2008, Daddy's has been Clarion's go-to stop whenever hunger strikes. Whether it's a good old-fashioned hot dog or hamburger, a salad, or something from their rotating chef's menu. Yes, I said rotating chef's menu. Daddy has you covered. You can order ahead by calling 814-223-4687 or come on in and dine in. Have a big event you are catering? Daddy's can do that too. Like Daddy's on Facebook at Daddy's Clarion and stop in today. You won't be disappointed. Golfing at one of the prettiest golf courses around is what you get when you play around at Hunter Station Golf Club just outside of Tanesta. Located in the Allegheny Mountains with a spectacular view of the Allegheny River, Hunter Station offers something for everyone. The rolling hills of the front nine, coupled with a back nine situated along the banks of the Allegheny River, create some of the best views in all of northwestern PA. And when you're done with your round, enjoy a delicious meal or a cold drink in our restaurant and bar. Looking for a place to stay? Hunter Station has you covered there too with play and stay packages. Find out more at HunterStation.com. Creating champions is what we do at the Garage in Shippenville. The Garage is Clarion County's premier indoor hitting and pitching facility offering one-on-one -on -one instruction to athletes of all ages. Join one of our group sessions now by contacting the Garage at 814-918-2123. And did you know the Garage is more than just about baseball and softball? We now have the True Golf Simulator where you can hone your game all year round. Like the Garage on Facebook today. Tap and Pay Plus is fundraising for the 21st century. Nothing to sell, nothing to hand out, nothing to do other than shop like you normally do. Have everybody that you know download the Tap and Pay Plus fundraising app and use it to pay at any of our 300 plus national brand partners. Then watch the money roll in. Learn more at tapandpayplus.com. Back here in Punxsutawney as we head to the bottom of the third inning of a scoreless game. It'll be 9-1-2 and two for the Chucks. Bender, Hetrick, and Hallman against Braden Fox. Fox in his second inning of relief came in with an out last inning. Got out of a second and third jam in the inning by picking off a batter and then getting a ground out. Taking strike one is Bender. Next pitch hit out the left. Varischetti going back on it. It's going to turn him around, and it's over his head. On his way to second is Bender. He'll be in there with a leadoff double for Punxsutawney. So Bender, the leadoff double over the head of Varischetti in left. And now Maddox Hetrick to the plate. Hetrick popped up to Andrew Green playing second base at that point in time to Lead off the game for Punxsutawney. Green now over at first as Blake Pasarchik's moved to second from short as Carter Himes in it short to starting pitcher. And now Fox steps off. Lefty on lefty matchup here. It's up high, ball one. Pitch number 15 for Braden Fox. And again, thinking... His dad, Adam, the manager at DCC, wanting to keep all his pitchers under 25 today. So Fox is going to have to get real efficient real quick if he wants to get out of this third inning as it's now 2-1, and one, or 2-0, and oh, excuse me, on Hetrick, the 2-0. In there for a called strike. Now it's two balls and one strike. One and the two one. That ball is out towards left. Varischetti stumbling, coming in. He's not going to get there. It's going to be picked up by the shortstop, Carter Himes, and that's going to hold the runner at second. But a couple of balls hit into left uh, that have given Johnny Varischetti a little bit of a issue right now as he's probably asking right now, please don't hit the ball to me. Sometimes it's just not your day. And right now, that's what. Uh, 
Johnny must be feeling is uh scoreboard for some reason said it was one nothing punksy. It's zero zero still. As now runners are at first and second for Cooper Hallman, the catcher. Showing bunt takes a ball inside. That was weird. Looking at Andrew Green, it first looked like he was going to run into cover first, but he was really just seeing the bunt. And so he's going to play at the edge of the grass now, as is the third baseman, Zatzik. Showing bunt again and taking down low. Ball two is Hattrick. So two balls and no, I'm, I'm sorry, ball two is Hallman. Two balls and no strikes. Hetrick's at first. Bender's at second with nobody out here for the Chucks in the bottom of the third inning of a scoreless game. Turns throw to second, just getting back in there is Bender. Fox already has a big pickoff at second base and came real close that time. Nice move to second. Chucks are going to have to keep an eye on that. Wind in the 2-0. That ball is popped into foul territory over on the right field side. It's going to be out of play, and it's two balls and one strike. Two and one here at on home, and with nobody out, Nevin Day on deck. The ball is bunted, and it's a really, really good bunt. Fox up with it. Throw down to first. He's going to throw it into right field. That's going to allow Tungsitani to take the lead. On the way to third is Hetrick, and into second is Hallman on the sacrifice bunt, the E1 on Fox, and it's one nothing in favor of Punxsutawney. So Punxsutawney able to... Get on the board, and that's going to be it for Braden Fox. As out comes Adam Fox to take out his son, and we're going to step aside here for some more thanks of our sponsors. You're watching High School Baseball on the YDL Sports Network. Claims happen. Fortunately, you have Gerg Insurance and Financial in your quarter. Your family is our family, and we really mean that. So we invite you to get in touch with us and find out for yourself. Gerg Insurance and Financial. Offices in Ridgeway, Warren, and St. Mary's. Call 814-781-1020 for an appointment or a quote today. Gerg Insurance and Financial. Wants to understand you to help protect you. Gerg Insurance. Caring for the things you care for. When it's your special day, we know you want everything to be just perfect. That's why at the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, we spared no expense in creating our new indoor-outdoor wood-framed event center with waterfalls, gorgeous views of the Allegheny River, a fire pit, and plenty of parking. The Allegheny Grill in Foxburg will take care of everything from catering to bartending, so all you have to do is bring the fun. We do it all for your wedding, anniversary party, corporate event, and so much more. One look at our new facility, and we know you'll fall in love. And remember, the view is always free at the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. Allegheny Electric Service of St. Mary's has been providing industrial and commercial electrical solutions for over 35 years. They offer complete design, build, installation, and maintenance of automated systems for a variety of industries. Allegheny Electric designs and installs wiring and lighting for any size project, big or small. And when you find yourself in a jam, they'll get your machine or facility back up and running in no time. Call Allegheny Electric Service at 814-781-1940 or visit alleghenyelectric.com. All American HQ custom apparel and engraving can do almost anything on almost everything. We're your one stop shop for your custom needs. All American HQ custom apparel and engraving. We can do almost anything on almost everything. Back here as Blake Pasarchik takes over for DCC. Pasarchik 1 0 on the year with a 663 earned run average and six and a third innings. He's given up. Six hits, seven runs, six earned. His walk four, struck out three. So, Silverstein back in to run for home, and it's second, and it's ball one to Nevin Day. So Fox gives up three hits. So far, one run. He's responsible for the two on base right now with nobody out. 
There's a swing and a miss by Day, and it's one ball and one strike. So Hallman put down the bun. It was a really, really good one. Fox threw the ball out into right field, allowing a run to score and the runners to go to second and third. One and one from Pasarchik. It's down low, and it's two balls and one strike. Wind in the 2 1. That's lifted in the shallow right field, second baseman. And catching that is the first baseman, Fox, as him and the second baseman, Green. Well, no, that's not Fox at first. That is, that is the new second baseman. Looks like Miller. No, I'm not actually sure who that is. Either way, it's an out. We'll get. Figure that out here in a second. There's one away now here in the Punxsutawney first, or the third, excuse me. So Green's still over at first. Fox must have gone out to play left. And we're going to have to take a look and figure all this out here. The defensive alignment again. And that's going to get away from Miller now coming home. And scoring is... Patrick on the wild pitch, and it's 2 0 Punxsutawney, and taking third on the play is Silverstein. Next pitch is swung on and missed, and it's three balls and a strike here on Coy Martino. And there's ball four, and it gets away from Miller and coming home on another wild pitch to score is Silverstein, and it's 3 nothing. And now on the way to second, throw down to second is... In time, so Martino got a little too aggressive there, and he gets thrown out trying to go to second on the wild pitch. A run does score to make it three nothing, but there are now two outs and nobody on for Stallman. There's a ground ball. Second baseman Schwentner bobbles in, and that is going to allow Stallman to reach safely. So Schwentner comes in from right to play second, and it's going to be charged with the air. So Fox did go out to right, and Schwentner came in to play second, and Immediately, that costs DCC as he bobbles a routine grounder. Now, throw over to first. Getting back in is Stallman. Wind in the pitch. That's going to be a wild pitch by Pasarchek. Going to second is Stallman. So closes the book on Fox. He'll get charged with three runs, two of them earned. Three hits in two-thirds of an inning. 1-0 by Pasarczyk outside, and it's two balls and no strikes. On Brody Stauffer. Seventh man to bat in the inning here for Punxsutawney. They've scored three runs. That's in there for a called strike. It's two balls and one strike.
That misses, and it's now three and one. Sarchik already in, ready to deliver his 15th pitch, but throw down to second. Oh, just getting back in there was Stallman. DCC thought they had another pickoff at second. Tag must have been high because it looked like it had beat the throw, beat him, but the tag by the shortstop, Hines, must have been high on Stallman, and it remains a runner at second and a 3-1 pitch. High strike there, and it's three balls and two strikes. On Stauffer with Stallman at second, two outs and three runs in for Punxsutawney. Wind in the 3-2. Swing and a miss. Got him to chase ball four, and the inning comes to an end, but not before. Punxsutawney scores the game's first three runs on a pair of hits, two errors, and one left on base. At the end of three full here from Punxsutawney, it's now Punxsutawney three, Dubois, boy, Central Catholic, nothing. You're watching high school baseball on the YDL Sports Network. Allegheny Electric Service of St. Mary's has been providing industrial and commercial electrical solutions for over 35 years. They offer complete design, build, installation, and maintenance of automated systems for a variety of industries. Allegheny Electric designs and installs wiring and lighting for any size project, big or small. And when you find yourself in a jam, they'll get your machine or facility back up and running in no time. Call Allegheny Electric Service at 814-781-1940 or visit alleghenyelectric.com. Howdy, Rodeo fans! The 64th Annual North Washington Rodeo is scheduled for August 13th through the 17th. Come see your favorite events, including bronc riding, barrel racing, bull riding, and more. Gates open at 6 p.m. The show starts at 8. Come early and eat dinner in the social hall between 4 and 7. Nightly specials will be offered. Can't make dinner? No problem. There'll be lots of concession options available during the show. Grounds are located at 2225 Onata Valley Road in Petrolia, PA. For more information, visit NorthWashingtonVFD.com backslash radio. The show goes on, rain or shine. Back here in Punxsutawney, where the Chucks lead DCC 3-0 as we head to inning number four. It'll be Fox, Snowburger, and Pasarchik against Nevin Day. Day's given up one base runner through three innings. That was a second inning walk to Andrew Green. Braden Fox steps in. First pitch from Day to Fox, down low, ball one. Day ready with the 1-0. Nice breaking ball in there for a strike. It's one ball and one strike. Winding the pitch. That ball's hit into the left center field gap. Playing it on a bounce will be the left fielder, Stoffer, and DCC has its first hit. Leadoff single here in the fourth by Braden Fox. Aiden Stoberger stepping to the plate. Stoberger struck out in his first at bat. One of five strikeouts for Nevin Day. Fox being held on by Stallman, takes his lead. Day checks the runner, delivers to the plate. In there for a called strike. Next pitch. Showing bunt. Did he get out of it? I think they're going to, you know, I'm not sure if they're going to call it a ball. It's one ball and one strike. Throw over to first. Fox back in safely.
That's up high, and it's now two and one on Snowburger. That ball was lifted deep to left field. Tron, his horse is Stoffer. He's going to track it down and make the catch. About 15 feet off the line. Nice catch there by Stoffer. And there's one away here in the DCC fourth inning. Bring up Blake Pasarchik. Such a grounded out in the first, I mean, in the second inning. Nice play by Tim Chula on that play. It's outside, ball one. That's a ball down the third baseline. That's a fair ball and single for Pasarchik puts runners at first and second here for DCC. So first and second for the Cardinals and Andrew Green coming to the plate. Green calls time. Pitches outside. That's up high, and it's two balls and no strikes. One in the pitch. That ball is fouled away. Two balls and one strike on green. Ball is fisted out to left. Stoffer coming in. He'll make the catch. Throw into second. Getting back in there is Fox. And there's two away. Zatzik steps to the plate. Pitch misses. It's one ball and no strikes on Zatzik.
Day checks the runners. Winds and delivers. Swing and a miss. Day checks the runner. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Misses outside. Two balls and one strike. Ground ball. Shortstop Martino. Throw across a diamond in time, and that does it for the fourth. When we opened your daily local LLC, the parent company of the YDL Sports Network, we were looking for an insurance company we knew and could trust. Acrisure and Dubois gave us all of that and more. And that's why Acrisure and Dubois is the official insurance provider of the YDL Sports Network. We know that the folks at Acrisure have our backs and we know they support high school athletes and athletics. Find out more at acrisure.com backslash midatlantic or call them today at 814-371-5270. Acrisure and Dubois is the official insurance provider provider of your daily local LLC. Back here in the bottom of inning number four. Tim Choli leading off here against Pasarczyk. Strike one, and then a base hit to center. I'm sorry, it was Stafford. Yeah, Temchula, that was Temchula. Now Kendrick at the plate. Takes ball one. It's a ground ball. Third baseman. That's it. The second baseman. Schwentner, and they'll get the lead runner there. At first, he wasn't sure he wanted to go to second, but then he eventually decided he had time, and he goes there. It's on the fielder's choice. Kendrick at first. 
bring up Donnie Bender. Bender got the rally started last inning with a leadoff double. Two balls and no strikes on Bender. That's up high, and it's now 3-0 and on Bender. There's a called strike, and it's actually not Bender. It's Miller pinch hitting for Bender. So I apologize for that, but we've got a pinch hitter here, Miller. Luke Miller pinch hitting for Donnie Bender. Where's that Bender? Not 100% sure here. I was told he was number 10, but either way, it's a walk, and it's going to put runners at first and second. And out comes Adam Fox to make another pitching change. We'll step aside. You're watching High School Baseball on the YDL Sports Network. Golfing at one of the prettiest golf courses around is what you get when you play around at Hunter Station Golf Club just outside of Tanesta. Located in the Allegheny Mountains with a spectacular view of the Allegheny River, Hunter Station offers something for everyone. The rolling hills of the front nine, coupled with a back nine situated along the banks of the Allegheny River, create some of the best views in all of northwestern PA. And when you're done with your round, enjoy a delicious meal or a cold drink in our restaurant and bar. Looking for a place to stay? Hunter Station has you covered there too with play and stay packages. Find out more at HunterStation.com. Creating champions is what we do at the garage in Shippenville. The garage is Claren County's premier indoor hitting and pitching facility offering one-on-one -on -one instruction to athletes of all ages. Join one of our group sessions now by contacting the garage at 814-918-2123. And did you know the garage is more than just about baseball and softball? We now have the True Golf Simulator where you can hone your game all year round. Like the garage on Facebook today. Claims happen. Fortunately, you have Gerg Insurance and Financial in your corner. Your family is our family, and we really mean that. So we invite you to get in touch with us and find out for yourself. Gerg Insurance and Financial. Offices in Ridgeway, Warren, and St. Mary's. Call 814-781-1020 for an appointment or a quote today. Gerg Insurance and Financial. Wants to understand you to help protect you. Gerg Insurance. When it's your special day, we know you want everything to be just perfect. That's why at the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, we spared no expense in creating our new indoor-outdoor wood-framed event center with waterfalls, gorgeous views of the Allegheny River, a fire pin, and plenty of parking. The Allegheny Grill in Foxburg will take care of everything from catering to bartending, so all you have to do is bring the fun. We do it all for your wedding, anniversary party, corporate event, and so much more. One look at our new facility, and we know you'll fall in love. And remember, the view is always free at the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. Tap and Pay Plus is fundraising for the 21st century. Nothing to sell, nothing to hand out, nothing to do other than shop like you normally do. Have everybody that you know download the Tap and Pay Plus fundraising app and use it to pay at any of our 300 plus national brand partners. Then watch the money roll in. Learn more at tapandpayplus.com. Back here as... That was Bender that walked. Hetrick will come to the plate here. I think it is Zatzik that has taken over on the mound. Can't see the number right now. It's a called strike. It is Zatzik that has taken over on the mound. Making his first varsity appearance of his career in the pitching realm. It's no balls and two strikes here on Hetrick. So Zatzik, the freshman, throws on up high, one ball and two strikes.
swing and a miss in the freshman in his first batter he's ever faced at the varsity level. Strikes out Maddox Hetrick. Two outs now for Cooper Hallman. Little blooper. That's going to land, and that's going to score another run for Punxsutawney. They're going to take a 4-0 lead on the base hit the center, and then the throw comes in, and Green cuts it off, and it's 4-0 Punxsutawney as Cooper Hallman comes through with a two-out single to center, scoring Kendrick from second. Bender goes to third. And it's 4-0 Punxsutawney. Well, we're going to get a courtesy runner. I believe that's Silverstein again. So Nevin Day looking to help himself. Line drive, base hit up the middle. It's now 5 nothing in favor of the Chuck. So good two out hitting from both Holman and day and it's five nothing in favor of Punxsutawney. Silverstein will go to second. We're going to get a courtesy runner here now for day. I do believe this is going to be Miller. So it'll be Miller and Silverstein on for Coy Martino. 5 nothing Punxsutawney here in the fourth. Satchi checks the runner at second, winding the pitch to Martino. He puts it into right field. Right fielder Fox near the line. Can't make the catch. Ball lands. That's going to score another two for the Chucks. They now lead 7 nothing on the way to third with a triple is Martino. So Punxsutawney has broken it open with two outs here in the fourth. Triple by Martino, scores Silverstein and Miller, and it's 7-0 Chucks as Parker Stallman steps to the plate. That is Braden Fox out there, and I can't tell who's out in right field. It's a long way out there. And DCC does not have numbers on the front of their uniforms, but the right fielder came over, had a chance to make the play, but it landed in there, and Kind of overran the ball as he was in a full sprint to get to it. And Martino ends up at third with the triple. And ball one to Stallman. Four in here in the fourth four. Punksy, that ball is lifted towards center. Snowberger coming in. Going back is the shortstop. Himes, the shortstop. Himes will make the catch. And the inning comes to a close. But not before Punxsutawney picks up four more runs on four hits. There was a walk and one left on base. We go to the fifth. It's now Punxsutawney 7, Dubois Central Catholic nothing. You're watching high school baseball on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Allegheny Electric Service of St. Mary's has been providing industrial and commercial electrical solutions for over 35 years. They offer complete design, build, installation, and maintenance of automated systems for a variety of industries. Allegheny Electric designs and installs wiring and lighting for any size project, big or small. And when you find yourself in a jam, they'll get your machine or facility back up and running in no time. Call Allegheny Electric Service at 814-781-1940 or visit alleghenyelectric.com. Howdy, Rodeo fans! The 64th Annual North Washington Rodeo is scheduled for August 13th through the 17th. Come see your favorite events, including bronc riding, barrel racing, bull riding, and more. Gates open at 6 p.m. The show starts at 8. Come early and eat dinner in the social hall between 4 and 7. Nightly specials will be offered. Can't make dinner? No problem! There'll be lots of concession options available during the show. Grounds are located at 2225 Onata Valley Road in Petrolia, PA. For more information, visit NorthWashingtonVFD.com backslash radio. The show goes on, rain or shine. Head to the fifth inning here. It's now 7 nothing in favor of Punxsutawney. Three in the third, four in the fourth.
Strike one to Trent Miller. It's the bottom third of the order. Miller, Veraschetti, and Schwetner for Adam Fox's DCC Cardinals against Nevin Day. Ball's outside. One ball and one strike. It's in there for a called strike, and it's one and two. It's now two and two. One and a 2-2. Bouncer gets through up the middle. So base hit for Miller leading off here in the fifth inning for DCC. Third hit for the Cardinals. Johnny Veraschetti. Ball's outside, one ball and no strikes. Swing and a miss, and it's one and one. One and a one one. Fouled out of play, and it's one ball and two strikes. One and the one, two, swing and a miss. Veraschetti goes down swinging. Strikeout number six for Nevin Day. That'll bring up Schwentner. Quickly ahead of Schwentner, 0-2 is Day. Schwentner grounded back to the pitcher Day in his first at bat. Back in the third, now in the fifth. Wine in the 0-2. Fouled straight back. Remains no balls and two strikes. Day glances in, checks the runner at first, winds and delivers. Swing and a miss. Strikeout number seven for Nevin Day. He's dealing today. That'll bring up Carter Himes. Himes has been a strikeout victim twice. Swinging in the first, looking in the third. Misses outside, ball one. One in the one oh. That's high, and it's two balls and no strikes. That's going to miss, and it goes off the glove of Hallman, but holding it first is 
I don't know if the courtesy ran for Miller over there. So it's three balls and no strikes. Three oh way inside, ball four. So a four pitch walk issued here, just the second by day. And that'll bring up Braden Fox. So they did pinch run with Cedar for the catcher Miller. So it's Trenston Cedar at second. Himes is at first for Fox. Part of the order, if you're DCC, that you'd want at the plate if you're trying to get back into this game as Day steps off. It's a called strike to Braden Fox. Been told by the State College Spikes that we should be good to go for tomorrow's Hardball Classic in State College. We'll have the DCC games for you. If you're a DCC fan or just a baseball fan in general, that's a heck of a tournament. DCC State runners up in single way a year ago. State College, a perennial powerhouse, along with defending state champions Bald Eagle and Belfont. Doesn't get much better than that in Pennsylvania high school baseball. Is the tournament in State College PA, Medler Field at Lebrano Park. The redone Medler Field at Lebrano Park. Can't wait to see that. This ball is popped up. Shortstop Martino's there, and the inning comes to a close. So for DCC in the fifth, no runs. There was a hit, a walk, and two left on base. We head to the bottom of the fifth inning. It is still Punxsutawney 7, Dubois Central Catholic. Nothing. You're watching High School Baseball on the YDL Sports Network. Spring is here, and that means grilling season. Mike's Bilo in Reynoldsville has all your grilling needs covered with chicken, steak, pork chops, and more. You can check out all of Mike's Bilo's weekly specials from the comfort of your home at mikesbilo.com, where you will also find online coupons and recipes. Visit Mike's Bilo on South 5th Street in Reynoldsville today. Mike's Bilo's Foods, your friendly hometown supermarket. In both baseball and softball, as in bowling, there's nothing better than a perfect strike. And Dubois Lane's on the B-Line, and Dubois has been serving up a striking good time for nearly 70 years and is here for all your bowling needs. At Dubois Lane's, we have open bowling, leagues, birthday parties, and other special events, along with a great pro shop. Call today for open bowling hours or to book your next event. 814-371-0344. Check us out on Online at DuboisLanes.com. Dubois Lanes is hoping for a striking year for the DCC Cardinals. What's the recipe for surprising the kids, treating yourself, and ditching dish duty? You're looking at it. Order your Pizza Hut faves like original pan, original stuffed crust, and more at PizzaHut.com. No one out pizzas the hut. Back here as we go to bottom of the fifth inning. As it'll be Stoffer, Temchula, and Kendrick do up as waiting for umpire Terry Bean to get ready to go here. Schwentner's first pitch. Green giving chase. He's going to run out of room. Strike one. Stoffer has been on once. Fielder's choice and a ground out. Line drive, base hit into right center field. Center fielder Snowberger over quickly to cut it off and hold Stoffer to the single. Bring up 
Temchula. Landon Temchula. 0 for 2 with a ground out and a fielder. I'm sorry, Tim Chula is 2 for 2 with a pair of singles in this game. He was picked off in the second. Ball stays high, ball one. So if Punxsutawney could pick up three runs here in this bottom of the fifth, they would end the game on the 10-run mercy rule. There's a called strike, and it's one ball and one strike. That ball is fouled away, and it's one and two. One and two on Temchula. Punksy with three in the fourth and or three in the third and four in the fourth have a seven nothing lead. Winding the one two. Staying alive with that foul ball back is Temchola. Remains one ball and two strikes. In addition to the baseball games that we're planning on doing tomorrow, weather permitting, we hope to have Elk County Catholic and Clarion maybe on Monday. We'll see how that goes. But uh, Dubois and Clarion next week as well. Showers field that game should get in being that it's showers field as that ball is fouled away one ball and two strikes. Somebody asked us today on our feed here what our schedule looked like, and uh, it's hard to tell right now, folks, what the schedule looks like coming up. We have a couple of things that we have planned, uh, like the Elk County softball tournament, the city classic, and do boys that one's up high, it's two balls and two strikes. Um, but everything is just so hard right now, uh, just as it is for the teams and the schools getting games in. We don't know when we're going to be able to get games in. Two balls, two strikes. That ball is ripped into right field for a base hit. Holding it second will be Stoffer. Now it's first and second and nobody out for Kendrick. Putting the lights on in the infield here. Ball one. That ball is driven to deep left field. Going back on it as the left fielder having it. Stepping in, that's, I believe, Fox out there, and uh, he'll quickly throw it in. And giving it a ride was Kendrick, but Fox able to get over there to make the catch. One away as Donnie Bender steps in. Bender's a double and a walk and a run scored in this one. Actually, two runs scored in this one. Take strike one. <laughs> Throw to second, and it would have had him, but the ball couldn't be pulled in by the short stop Himes. Or it would have been a second runner throwing out at second base on a pickoff by DCC tonight. Went into center field, but the base runner. Stoffer was able to scramble back in. That ball is hit to left. Fox coming in and over, and he makes the catch. Runner heading to third. Throw to third is not in time. Gets away, but uh, Stoffer's going to hold. But on that throw that gets away, taking second, is Tem Chula, so charging air on DCC's left fielder, Braden Fox there, I do believe, and there's now runners at second and third with two outs. 
And now we're going to have a discussion among the umpires here. They're going to say the ball went out of play. And so that's going to allow a run to score, and it's now 8 nothing in favor of Punxsutawney. So they're going to say the ball went out of play. That allows Stauffer to score, Temchula to third. Maddox Hetrick is the batter. So it's now 8 0 Punxatani. 1 0 to Hetrick. Down low, it's two balls and no strikes. Hetrick reaches and doesn't score right away. Hallman would be next. If Hetrick would score in this at bat, game would be over in favor of Punxsutawney on the 10-run roll. That's up high, and it's now two balls or three balls and no strikes on Hetrick. One and a 3-0, way high, and it's now first. And third for Cooper Hallman. Hedrick represents the winning run at first, as it would be a 10 run rule if he scores here in the inning. Takes his lead off of first. Satsik's pitch, checking and holding is Hallman, ball one. Hallman reaches without a hat trick scoring. Nevin Day would be at the plate. Wind in the 1 0. Swing and a miss. Strike one, and it's one ball and one strike. Wind in the 1 1. Ground ball, second base. Ben Schwentner up with it and on to first, and the inning comes to a close. Another run comes in on the air for Punxsutawney here in the fifth. We go to the sixth inning. It is now 8 nothing Chucks on the YDL Sports Network. With convenient locations in Dubois, Ridgeway, St. Mary's, and Warren, you don't have to travel far to get your game-winning smile with Cole Orthodontic Associates. The orthodontists of Cole Orthodontic Associates have been crafting beautiful, healthy smiles in North Central Pennsylvania since 1960. Born and raised in the area, the doctors and staff at Cole Orthodontic Associates are committed to the people of this region. Visit colesmiles.net to schedule an appointment or consultation at the location nearest you today. Back here as we go to the sixth inning, eight nothing in favor of DCC. Nevin Day throwing a shutout right now. Three hit shutout on just 79 pitches. Gonna finish up his warm-ups here with Cooper Hallman making the last out. He just got in as the catcher here. Hallman will throw down to second, and we'll get ready here as it'll be. Aiden Snowberger leading off for DCC. Snowberger, Pasarchik, and Green. Snowberger 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a fly out to left. Nevin Day set delivers in there for called strike one. One and the 0 1. And therefore called strike two, and it's 0 and 2. One and the 0 2. Outside, one ball and two strikes.
Line in the one, two. That's ripped towards center. Center fielder Bender will play it on a bounce, and it's a leadoff single for Aiden Snowberger. That'll bring up Blake Pasarczyk. Pasarczyk's got one of the four DCC hits today. Singled in the fourth. Snowberger takes his lead off first. Throw over to first. Back in safely without a tag. The ball is fouled straight back. By Pasarczyk, no balls in one strike. Day steps off. Now ready. Gets his signal from Hallman. Quick throw over to first. Snowberger dies back in safely. A lot of concern for a runner at first in an 8 nothing game here. And check the runner at first again. Timeout called this time by Pasarczyk. That's in there for called strike, and it's no balls and two strikes. That's fouled away. It remains no balls and two strikes. Day sets, delivers, and it's a ball outside. One ball and two strikes. And that ball is out into left field for a base hit. Stoberger will stop at second as Pasarczyk with his second hit of the game, and now it's first and second. And nobody out for Andrew Green. Pitch stays high, ball one on green. It's now two and oh on green. Now 3 and 0 on green. Three balls, no strikes on Andrew Green. That's in there for a called strike. It's 3 and 1.
That ball is popped up. That should be the infield fly. It is. And the shortstop Martino makes the catch anyhow. And there's one away here in the DCC six. Runners hold it first and second. We'll bring up Raiden Zatzik. Day's up to 93 pitches now. One ball and no strikes here on Zatzik. It's in there for a called strike, and it's one and one. That's a pie, and it's now two and one. There's a chopper to the shortstop, Martino. Flip the second for one throw to first, not in time. Do get the lead runner or the middle runner and Pasarchik out at second. Two away now for Trent Miller. And that's going to do it, I think, here for Nevin Day as he's at 97 pitches. He's going to give way to, I think Parker Stallman might be coming into pitch here. We're going to step aside. Thanks some of our sponsors. We'll be right back. Spring is here, and that means grilling season. Mike's Buy Low in Reynoldsville has all your grilling needs covered with chicken, steak, pork chops, and more. You can check out all of Mike's Buy Low's weekly specials from the comfort of your home at mikesbylow.com, where you will also find online coupons and recipes. Visit Mike's Buy Low on South 5th Street in Reynoldsville today. Mike's Buy Low's Foods, your friendly hometown supermarket. In both baseball and softball, as in bowling, there's nothing better than a perfect strike. And Dubois Lane's on the B-Line in Dubois has been serving up a striking good time for nearly 70 years and is here for all your bowling needs. At Dubois Lane's, we have open bowling, leagues, birthday parties, and other special events, along with a great pro shop. Call today for open bowling hours or to book your next event, 814-371-0344. Check us out online at DuboisLanes.com. Dubois Lane's is hoping for a striking year for the DCC Cardinals. When we opened Your Daily Local LLC, the parent company of the YDL Sports Network, we were looking for an insurance company we knew and could trust. Acrisure and Dubois gave us all of that and more. And that's why Acrisure and Dubois is the official insurance provider of the YDL Sports Network. We know that the folks at Acrisure have our backs, and we know they support high school athletes and athletics. Find out more at acrisure.com backslash midatlantic or call them today at 814-371-5270. Acrisure and Dubois is the official insurance provider provider of your daily local LLC. With locations in Chippenville and Tynesta, Tynesta Builder Supply is a full service home improvement center specializing in everything you need to build or remodel your home. From power tools and accessories to paint and sundries and general hardware merchandise, Tynesta Builders has everything you need to get your project done quickly. Find out more at tynestabuilders.us and like them on Facebook. So it is Stallman taking over on the mound here with runners at first and third and two outs for Dubois Central Catholic as Miller steps in. First pitch by Stallman in the dirt ball one. Stallman checks the runner at first. The lefty winds and delivers. There's a line drive. That's going to... Oh, I think Cole Martino just made a fantastic catch. 
to keep DCC off the board. What a catch by Martino going back at shortstop, diving and grabbing it to end the inning. For Dubois Central in the six, no runs, two hits, no errors, two left on base. Thanks to the great catch by Coy Martino. We go to the bottom of the sixth. It's still 8 nothing in favor of Punxsutawney. Allegheny Electric Service of St. Mary's has been providing industrial and commercial electrical solutions for over 35 years. They offer complete design, build, installation, and maintenance of automated systems for a variety of industries. Allegheny Electric designs and installs wiring and lighting for any size project, big or small. And when you find yourself in a jam, they'll get your machine or facility back up and running in no time. Call Allegheny Electric Service at 814-781-1940 or visit AlleghenyElectric.com. Golfing at one of the prettiest golf courses around is what you get when you play around at Hunter Station Golf Club just outside of Tanesta. Located in the Allegheny Mountains with a spectacular view of the Allegheny River, Hunter Station offers something for everyone. The rolling hills of the front nine, coupled with a back nine situated along the banks of the Allegheny River, create some of the best views in all of Northwestern PA. And when you're done with your round, enjoy a delicious meal or a cold drink in our restaurant and bar. Looking for a place to stay? Hunter Station has you covered there too with play and stay packages. Find out more at HunterStation.com. Claims happen. Fortunately, you have Gerg Insurance and Financial in your corner. Your family is our family, and we really mean that. So we invite you to get in touch with us and find out for yourself. Gerg Insurance and Financial. Offices in Ridgeway, Warren, and St. Mary's. Call 814-781-1020 for an appointment or a quote today. Gerg Insurance and Financial. Wants to understand you to help protect you. Gerg Insurance. Caring for you and the things you care for. All American HQ custom apparel and engraving can do almost anything on almost everything. We're your one-stop shop for your custom needs. All American HQ custom apparel and engraving. We can do almost anything on almost everything. Back here as we go to the bottom of inning number six, eight nothing Punxsutawney in the lead. Still remains eight nothing thanks to that great catch by Coy Martino and that Kept Nevin Day from giving up a run as Day leads off here in the sixth. First pitch swinging, fouls it away, strike one. That one's up high, ball one. That misses and it's now ball two, two and one on day. Is that six pitch? Chopper up the middle. Nice play there by Pasarchik at second base. One away here for Punxsutawney in the sixth. Three balls, no strikes here. Ball four, so Martina will walk on four pitches. That'll bring up Parker Stallman.
That ball is way over the head and catcher Miller. And on the wild pitch, Martino goes into second. Two and zero on Stallman. The ball is driven to deep center field. Snowberger on his horse makes the catch in front of the wall, tagging and heading to third, and holding there is Martino. As Stallman gave it a ride trying to end the game, but. Tracking it down with Snowberger. And that's going to hit Stoffer. So now runners at first and third. For Temchula. Ball one. Inside ball two. Or ball three, excuse me. Three oh count. That's ball four. And now the bases are loaded. The winning run at second for Nate Kendrick. Strike there to Kendrick. Next pitch. Ball's popped up. Catcher Miller will watch it go out of play, and it's no balls and two strikes on Kendrick. It's outside, and it's now one and two on Kendrick. One and a one-two. Stays outside, and it's two and two. Now it's full at three and two. Nowhere to put them. One and a three, two. Ground ball. Third baseman up with it. Throw across the diamond in time. And we'll go to the seventh with Punxsutawney leading Dubois Central Catholic. Eight to nothing. 
Howdy, rodeo fans! The 64th Annual North Washington Rodeo is scheduled for August 13th through the 17th. Come see your favorite events, including bronc riding, barrel racing, bull riding, and more. Gates open at 6 p.m. The show starts at 8. Come early and eat dinner in the social hall between 4 and 7. Nightly specials will be offered. Can't make dinner? No problem. There'll be lots of concession options available during the show. Grounds are located at 2225 Onata Valley Road in Petrolia, PA. For more information, visit NorthWashingtonVFD.com backslash radio. The show goes on, rain or shine. With convenient locations in Dubois, Ridgeway, St. Mary's, and Warren, you don't have to travel far to get your game-winning smile with Cole Orthodontic Associates. The orthodontists of Cole Orthodontic Associates have been crafting beautiful, healthy smiles in north-central Pennsylvania since 1960. Born and raised in the area, the doctors and staff at Cole Orthodontic Associates are committed to the people of this region. Visit colesmiles.net to schedule an appointment or consultation at the location nearest you today. Back here is Parker Stallman. We'll try to close things out for Punxsutawney over Dubois Central Catholic. So it'll be Schwentner, Himes, and Fox for the Cardinals. Ball's filed straight back. It's actually it's Cedar that's pinch hitting now for Schwentner. It's no balls and two strikes on Cedar. That's inside. One and two. There's a ground ball. Second baseman Hetrick up with it on to first one away. Bring up Carter Himes. Swing and a miss, strike one. One in the 0-1. Swing and a miss, strike two. As that was actually Cedar pinch hitting for Verichetti. Is this just Schwentner now? Sorry about that. And there's a swing and a miss. It's going to get away from Holman, though, and that's going to allow Schwentner to reach first on the strikeout wild pitch. And that'll bring up the top of the order in Carter Himes. Takes a strike. Wind in the 0 1. That ball was lifted into right field. That's going to land in for a base hit. Right fielder Kendrick's throw to second, just a little bit late to get. Swentner had to hold up, and now two on for Braden Fox.
Juan in the pitch to Fox. High and tight, ball one. Stallman stares in. Set delivers the 1 0. It's in there for a called strike. Punxsutawney, three in the third, four in the fourth, one in the fifth. That's where they scored their eight. Nevin Day went five and two-thirds shutout innings for the Chucks. It's down low. Two balls and one strike now on Braden Fox. DCC used four pitchers. Himes went scoreless. Braden Fox gave up three runs, two of them earned. So he fouls that one off. It's two balls and two strikes. And then Pasarchik and Zatzik, all part of the plan for DCC as they do have two games tomorrow in State College. We'll have both of those games right here on the YDL Sports Network for you. Wind in the 2 2 coming here from Stallman. Fox lifts that one into left. Left fielder over to make the catch. That was Stauffer in there. Are two away, and Aiden Snowberger, the last hope for DCC. First pitch to Snowberger in there for called strike one. Wind in the 0-1. In there for called strike two. So now Stallman one strike away from putting this one in the books for Punxsutawney as they look to move to 7-1 and one on the season. Stallman has his son. Ready with the 0-2 to Snowberger. That's a little outside and down low, and it's one ball and two strikes on Snowberger. Snowberger would reach. Pissar checks next. Stallman looking to make sure that doesn't happen. Ready with his one two. Called strike three, and that's the ball game. Final score, Punks at Tawny A, Dubois Central Catholic nothing. We'll be back to wrap this one up in a couple of minutes. Spring is here, and that means grilling season. Mike's Bilo in Reynoldsville has all your grilling needs covered with chicken, steak, pork chops, and more. You can check out all of Mike's Bilo's weekly specials from the comfort of your home at mikesbilo.com, where you will also find online coupons and recipes. Visit Mike's Bilo on South 5th Street in Reynoldsville today. Mike's Bilo's Foods, your friendly hometown supermarket. Creating champions is what we do at The Garage in Shippenville. The Garage is Clarion County's premier indoor hitting and pitching facility offering one-on-one -on -one instruction to athletes of all ages. Join one of our group sessions now by contacting The Garage at 814-918-2123. And did you know The Garage is more than just about baseball and softball? We now have the True Golf Simulator where you can hone your game all year round. Like The Garage on Facebook today. When we opened Your Daily Local LLC, the parent company of the YDL Sports Network, we were looking for an insurance company we knew and could trust. Acrisure and Dubois gave us all of that and more. And that's why Acrisure and Dubois is the official insurance provider of the YDL Sports Network. We know that the folks at Acrisure have our backs and we know they support high school athletes and athletics. Find out more at acrisure.com backslash midatlantic or call them today at 814-371-5270. Acrisure and Dubois is the official insurance provider provider of your daily local LLC. 
A good garbage company is like a good utility player. You don't realize you need one until you don't have one. For great dependable garbage service in Clarion County, no one does it better than Larson's Garbage Service. Locally owned and active in the community for over 50 years, Larson's offers flat rates that are easy to understand with no hidden fees and no contracts. Find out more at larsonsgarbageservice.com. Howdy, rodeo fans! The 64th Angel North Washington Rodeo is scheduled for August 13th through the 17th. Come see your favorite events, including bronc riding, barrel racing, bull riding, and more. Gates open at 6 p.m. The show starts at 8. Come early and eat dinner in the social hall between 4 and 7. Nightly specials will be offered. Can't make dinner? No problem. There'll be lots of concession options available during the show. Grounds are located at 2225 Onata Valley Road in Petrolia, PA. For more information, visit NorthWashingtonVFD.com backslash radio. The show goes on, rain or shine. With locations in Shippenville and Tynesta, Tynesta Builder Supply is a full-service home improvement center specializing in everything you need to build or remodel your home. From power tools and accessories to paint and sundries and general hardware merchandise, Tynesta Builders has everything you need to get your project done quickly. Find out more at tynestabuilders.us and like them on Facebook. In both baseball and softball, as in bowling, there's nothing better than a perfect strike. And Dubois Lane's on the B-Line in Dubois has been serving up a striking good time for nearly 70 years and is here for all your bowling needs. At Dubois Lane's, we have open bowling, leagues, birthday parties, and other special events, along with a great pro shop. Call today for open bowling hours or to book your next event, 814-371-0344. Check us out online at DuboisLanes.com. Dubois Lane's is hoping for a striking year for the DCC Cardinals. Back here, where Punxsutawney has defeated Dubois Central Catholic 8 0. Time to name our Allegheny Grill of Foxburg player of the game. It's going to be Nevin Day of the Punxsutawney Chucks. Five and two thirds innings of five hit shutout baseball. Struck out seven, walked two. Day was also one for four with a run scored and an RBI at the plate. We'll have an interview with Devin after the game on. Uh, you can check it out in the recaps tonight on D9and10sports.com. That'll do it here for us in Punxsutawney tonight, where it was Punxsutawney 8, Dubois Central Catholic nothing. Don't forget to join us at 1230 tomorrow afternoon as DCC takes on Altoona at the Hardball Classic in State College. We'll have both games that DCC plays, whether it's a Conti game after the Altoona game or a championship game. We will have those games here on the YDL sports network until then this is chris rosetti saying good night